I am the Dollar Sportsman, guys. Thank you so much for being here today. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, destruction fun today. A little bit of redneck science experiments, and it's gonna be super fun. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, hey, bro. <sighs> I brought some uh, targets. <laughs> Did you bring yes. any? Yes. Do you have any guns? I got a few. <laughs> All right. I got a few. What this do we got? Be fun. All right. Hey, let's shoot some stuff. Okay, so today I'm here with Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner, shooting gear reviews, Air Gun Web. Your name gets longer and longer to introduce, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Just call me Ben. Okay. I'm here with Ben. There you go. We have got air guns versus a 22 long rifle because I just wanted to see what sort of impact we can have using these against your classic powder burner. So I've got my Ruger 1022 takedown here. That's going to be our rifle of the day compared to a 177, a 22, a 25, and a 30 caliber air gun. What air guns do we have here? All right, well, we got a couple gamos. We got the Gamma Swarm Maxim 177 cal. It's gonna do right around, we'll call it 14 foot pounds for us today. And then we've got the Gamma Magnum 22 cal. This one's gonna do maybe 28 ish foot pounds. We're yep. at about a mile high here, so uh, brake barrels put out a little bit less foot pounds than now and where you're at in the valley. So I'm thinking probably 28. And then we've got the 25 cal AEA. That's going to put out about 54 foot pounds. And we got the Evan X Max Air 2 Bullpup in 30. And we're going to shoot the big ol' 50 grain 30 cal JSB out of there. And wow. we are going to get, well, we'll f fill it up to a nice full fill. And with that first shot, we'll smack it with about 80 foot pounds. Fantastic. Hey, this is going to be fun. We're going to start small. Your small game are a bunch of apples that I've got set up over there. Those apples are gonna be our first targets. And then we're gonna up the game a bit and see what happens when we shoot different things, different sizes. And we're gonna cap it off with your brand new Ruger 10-22 takedown. Yeah, buddy. That is a pretty one. That's it nice. is, isn't it? That's like that. Coyote Brown, open sights. This thing is really slick. I love it. It locks into two different pieces here with a takedown lever right there and then uh, very packable. Oh, that is so fancy. Isn't that neat? I'm gonna actually run camera for you, bud, because I, I wanna get some slow motion footage of this. Slow motion footage of this. So you're gonna do the shooting. I'm gonna let you have all the fun here all with right. all these cool guns. We're gonna and have all the fun. I'll push the button on the camera. So <laughs> let's see how this turns out though, all right, man? All right, let's do sounds it. good, let's do it. Okay, we've got the Gamma Swarm Maxim 177. We're gonna shoot this apple out there, see what it does. My guess is that it's not going to be very impactful, but let's find out. Okay. So, it moved it. Now let's go for Gamma Swarm Magnum. 22 caliber. Now, keep in mind, I'm using hunting rounds in most of these. The red fires out of the 177. We've got the H&N Terminators out of the, the Magnum. This is what we did our rabbit hunting with last night. Okay, next apple. Woo! <laughs> That was quite some force, guys. All right, let's step it up. Okay, we got the 25 caliber AEA semi-automatic. I've got one pellet in there. Let's do this. Woo! <laughs> wow. That was a splatter. 30 cal, Evan X Max, 30 cal. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> 
Wow. That's fun. I like that one. Woo! Okay. Now, time for the 22. Let's do it. Okay, here we go with the 22. Ah. Oh, okay. This is going to be a whole lot louder, I think. Oh, do you see the splatter come off of that? Wow. All right, we had the 177. That blew a pretty nice little chunk through there, actually. Uh, exit. I mean, entry, exit down through the bottom. And then we had the 22 caliber out of the Magnum. That is a nice, look at that, squishy hole and exit wound. Holy crap. That is quite the exit wound, guys. Um, 25 caliber, oh my goodness. It's like missing the entire freaking chunk. <laughs> entry right there, blew off the top, exit. And then we had our 30 caliber. I believe this was from the 30. That was a square shot right down the center. You can see it just cracked this thing clean open. This was a 25, this was a 30. You can tell by the entry and exit wounds. Okay, so it blasted through. Now we didn't have a hollow point on the 30 cal. So that's the only one that we didn't do a hollow point with, you'll notice. And then we had our 22. <laughs> yeah. Just blew the whole top off of that. Again, hollow point. It's all mushy on the inside. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I've got the AEA bolt action, 80 foot pounds. Snuck this thing out because why not? I'm gonna shoot this melon and see what happens. All right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Tell it to the melon. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now we got the 22 for the other melon. Pretty on fire. Let's do this. Wow, I think it just zipped straight through it, man. Holy cow. All right, there you have it, guys. Uh, the interesting part about the melons is that the impact was, it looked almost a bit bigger with the AEA. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit bigger diameter, right? But the, the amount of foot pounds that were sticking through there is 80 compared to 100, 112. And uh, it's getting pretty close in power, and you can see that. So we're not gonna shoot the watermelons today. If you wanna see that, you gotta go over to Shooting Gear Reviews because Ben here is gonna take out a couple of air gun pistols and compare it to the SIG P365XL, which I did a video of, and let's see what has more destructive power. On a watermelon. On a watermelon! I am the Dollar Sportsman. This is Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner. Shooting gear reviews, air gun mode. Yada, yada, yada. It's been fun, man. Thank you very much for having me out here. I have absolutely enjoyed it. It has been a blast. Head on over and see that video. It's gonna be fun. Hope you enjoyed this one, please. Patreon, PayPal below, support the channel so I can afford more of these trips and more fun stuff. I have some good times I can share with you. Thanks guys. That's pretty comfortable. Let's give it a shot. Or two or 60. We're in buck territory. Yes! <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I'm the dollar sportsman. Yes, I'm the dollar sportsman. I'm the dollar sportsman. Having fun out here. And just enjoy all of this.
because after watching these videos, I hope you do. Yeah, buddy. I hope you guys had fun too. Did you have fun? No. What a letdown, man. <laughs> I built that whole thing up <laughs> and then you just boom. <laughs> Man, you were shooting all the fruit. I was pushing the camera button. Now That's it's, true. Now it's, it's my, my turn, turn now. It's my you turn. You shoot some fruit in your camera. Push the camera button. All right, let's do it. Go. Hey.